tragic story out of Decatur. That is where a mother of seven was gunned down as she drove with her toddler in the back seat. Police say at least two gunmen started shooting at the mother, and when she drove off, the gunman followed her in a car, shooting at her until she was dead. Fox News Angelique Proctor joining us now live. She's been covering the heartbreaking story for us. Angelique, do police think that this woman knew her, the guys that targeted her? Right now they are saying that she likely did not know her attackers, although they say she was targeted. So a very peculiar set of circumstances tonight. So many people are asking who would kill a mother so viciously and why? She always had them kids. The cab police say someone brutally shot and killed devoted mother of seven, Tamika Trimble, while she was driving with her one-year-old toddler in the back seat. Police say the relentless shooting started a half a mile from this scene and ended in this driveway on Terry Mill Road. They say at least two gunmen pursued Trimble as she drove. The roar of gunfire awoke resident Richard Jones. I heard loud gunshots, like right at my front door of the house ship. Looked out, and my wife jumped up. So I told her, look at the window, yeah, wait, you know. Police say the toddler was just inches from many of the rounds, but miraculously survived. Investigators say the deadly shooting was not domestic. They say Trimble was targeted, but likely did not know her attackers. We talked to one of Trimble's friends who broke down when she heard the news. To me, because she was so care hard like whatever if she had it you had it it was never a no she'll go out her way for you do whatever and she always had them kids in fact police say she had her youngest of seven with her last night when she was killed mr jones dialed 911 and ran to help he says he didn't realize what was in the back seat my first instinct there was a a, a teddy bear in the seat you know because they had the, the uh, little panda Eyes at the top of the head thing, and it come to find it was an infant. And she was alive, and when the officer pulled out, they checked, and she wasn't had no bullet holes. That's by the grace of God, because you can see that through the back seat where three or four shots came through, about maybe not even a foot away from the, the car seat she was sitting in. YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes straight out of Atlanta, Georgia. Big shout out to the ATL. But we have a mom of seven who basically gets gunned down in a car. While her, while her child's in the back seat, her one-year-old child's in the back seat. Now, the child did not get harmed or anything, but the mom basically lost her life right there on the scene, died on the scene. So, the question is, like, did she know these people who, who was targeting her, or did she know she was targeted, or did they, you know, happen to pick out the wrong car, or was they looking for somebody else, or was it somebody from her past or something? It's a lot of, you know, open-ended questions, if you will about this surrounding this circumstance but it seems to me that she was targeted about about somebody from her past where they would have been an ex-boyfriend or somebody because you got some crazy people out here that would not let let you go or let good be and they would take your life you know so i'm gonna read a snippet from this story and i will give my opinion as we go family members of tamika tremble described her as a woman that loved all of her children and would help anyone who is in need Tamika Tremble was a loving mother of seven kids, and she was devoted to raising them, taking care of them, and loving them. Because Tremble was such a warm, loving, and caring individual, cops are trying to figure out who would want her dead. Quite naturally, like, if you a good mom, you go to work, and you come home, and you're not really considered a street runner, how do death come to you like that? Now, I know when it's your time to go, you can't stop it, you know. That's something that's beyond our, our control. But some things can be prevented. And in cases like this, this is more than a random attack, you know, as you will see as I get deep into the story. Now, here's the latest information on the case. Atlanta resident Richard Jones was asleep in his home on Sunday night when he woke up to the loud gunfire in the area. Jones told media outlets that the gun was so loud that the impact of it allegedly shook his home. So I don't know if they were shooting Desert Eagles. I don't know if they were shooting 50 calibers. I don't know if they was out there shooting muskets or elephants gun. But one thing about it, it was it was uh, World War Three out there that night. Now, in total, he reportedly heard seven to eight shots. Jones, along with other neighbors, ran outside to discover a woman, 33-year-old Tamika Tremble, clinging on to life. Jones called the cops to try and save the woman, but unfortunately, it was too late. Tremble passed away at the scene, died right there on the scene. It was a big gun. You could hear the shots. It shook my house, Jones remarked to Fox News 5. Now, 
While Jones and neighbors mourned the loss of Trimble, they realized that something, something was in the back seat. Excuse me. Initially, the neighbors were unsure of if the object in the back seat was a teddy bear or a real person. To their shock, Trimble's one-year-old daughter was in the back seat unharmed. My first instinct, it was a teddy bear. It had panda eyes at the top of the head. Come to find out, it was an infant. I guess it was just a beautiful child with them big old eyes. You know how, how, how some kids be with them big old almond eyes. Now, she was alive. The officer checked and she had no bullet holes, Mr. Jones said in amazement, which is a miracle, you know. It's a miracle, baby. You know, because it's amazing she didn't get hit. Now, just three weeks before Christmas, and according to a friend and former neighbor, Trimble left behind seven children, her oldest in high school and the youngest, the one-year-old who was in the car. The neighbor described Trimble as a great friend and even better mom. Trimble's daughter, Edesha Calhoun, shared with the media that her mom was not a street woman and that the manner in which her mom died surprised her. My mama tended to her kids in the house. As far as being out in the streets and stuff, that wasn't her, so I would have been more content if she died from a car accident or dying in her sleep or an illness. That would have satisfied me more, Edesha Calhoun told Fox's 5 News. Now, as of right now, police officers have no motive for the crime, or nor do they have a description of either the shooters of the car. According to Fox 5, police officers believe that Trimble was targeted, but that she likely did not know her killers. It appears that Trimble attempted to flee from the suspects. However, the shooters continued to pursue her. Investigators shared that it is a miracle that Trimble's daughter was unharmed as the vehicle was sprayed with multiple bullets from different angles, which means it's more than one person out there shooting. Now, what, what, what did this woman know? Did she know something about somebody getting killed or somebody robbing somebody or about somebody, you know, drugs or something? It was something to this stuff. Not saying that she was a, the actual participant in these uh in these uh situation but she must have known something somebody wanted, wanted her dead real bad to come with more than one person you know that's sad now detectives will remove the child from the scene officer said she'll be handed over to the division of family and children's services until a relative can be found the family of tremble created a gofundme account to help with the cause of her burial and uh i'm gonna I'm leave a link to the gofundme up on my uh in the description below so if you all want to donate to her which you know if you have anything that you can spare you know i would like that for you all to donate to her don't donate to me donate to her you know she she needs it you know because i'm not asking for anything i'm just giving this information free but it's sad that you we have we have in this day and time a mom of seven basically running from her killers only to drive up a mile up the street as you would see in the, in the, uh, the news broadcast and only to get gunned down even more and die right there on the scene with her one-year-old daughter in the back now who was these people that was after her and what did she know because it's more to the story than what's being told and i just don't understand why will somebody target a person like that and also let me read this part it says on sunday night around 11 30 p.m dekalb county police officers were called to terry mill road and for those of you who, who, who are familiar with terry mill road you know what i'm talking about after at least two gunmen followed 33-year-old Tamika Tremble and opened fire on her. Tamika's 18-year-old daughter said her mom did not have enemies and had not been in any disputes. So if the if the mom was in the house and she was just a low-key type person, why did this happen to her? Now, I understand things happen, you know, and you can't prevent it, but some of the stuff that we can't prevent. But isn't it strange that this woman would be out around 11.30 p.m., you know, probably most likely headed home, and then a gunman opened up? Now, another thing also, not saying that she didn't have no right to be out because you you free to travel wherever you want to go to, but why would a mom be out at 11.30 p.m. at night with your one-year-old daughter unless you're coming from somewhere? Because most likely you're supposed to be at home because you got six other kids, right? So why was she out at 11.30 p.m.? Was she just coming from somebody's house? Did she witness something? Did she see something? Because the story just don't add, add up, right? Because I'm sure a lot of moms that got seven kids would not be out 7.30 at night unless... That child was sick and they had to run that child to the hospital or unless the child was with their grandparents and you went over there to pick the child up you got off work late or whatnot because remember her daughter's 18 year old so her daughter could have stayed there and watched the other children till she got back but it's quite ironic that 11 30 p.m she would be out with her daughter and these two people follow her and just gun her down kill her like a dog in the street that's very sad now tremble's grandma believed the suspect thought she was someone else the Trimble family said the mom of seven was not the regular driver of the car that was targeted. So who was the regular driver of the car? That That's the missing key right there to the whole puzzle right there. 
listen to this. The Trimble family said the mom of seven was not the regular driver of the car that was targeted. The Trimbles said they have lots of vital information for detectives who they claim have been slow to talk to them. The seven children range in age from 1 to 18 years old. Now, the grandmom says she's not the regular driver of the car. So who's the regular driver of the car? Did he rob somebody? You know, because I'm quite sure that it was a guy who was a regular car uh, driver of the car. And most likely the car had uh, tinted windows on. Let me see if the car had tinted windows on real quick. No, it didn't have tinted windows on, but at nighttime, you can't really tell. And whoever these people were, they just probably just rolled up and started shooting. All this is a retaliation murder for something that went wrong, but it's more to the story than what's being told. It's definitely there, but I will keep you all updated as uh, more new information come in. But if you like the video, push that like button. If you, you like it, subscribe. And like I say, you know, count your blessings. Watch your back, watch your front, everything. You know, you we live in a dangerous time right now. Well... Anything could happen. It could be me on the news next you all reading about. But no matter what, though, you know, uh, you just got to live your life. You can't live in fear. But at the same time, a lot of stuff can be prevented. And and if you're around people who's doing crazy things, get off and around them people with their family, friends, or whatever. Because just like her, she was in the wrong place at the wrong time, not the regular driver of the car, and she winds up gunned down because they thought that she was somebody else. How ironic is that? Be careful who you surround yourself with and be careful who you associate yourself with. Till next time, y'all say bless them out.